Hey guys, it's Barbie Glitter. Yes, I'm still alive. So today I am going to be remodeling this Barbie house even though it's still new because this is what I'm working with right now and I just love remodeling doll houses. I am not gonna do anything extreme. I love the white accents and I'm just gonna enhance them. I did remove the pink in my other house and I did receive some complaints from TikTok. It looked way better before. I could have done a better job. You ruined Barbie's dream house. The only reason why I did that extreme makeover for that house is because it was old and it had water damage and it was just it, everything needed to be replaced. But uh, this house is still new. It just has a couple yellow stains, which I think that's normal, but I want to try to cover that up. So let's get started. So we're going to start with the bedroom. Whoever painted this needs to be fired. Bedding was made in like 2016 with my fetus hands, so... Uh, that's why you can see mistakes here. Uh, Chevron is so last decade. This needs to be changed. And since it's so last decade, I need to change this also. So above the bed, there's like a hoop right there. And you put like drapes and then you like put them there on those corners. Uh, they were hot pink and I lost them. But overall, I think we could update this room. Kind of make it look more bougie. You know what I mean? So uh, yeah, let's get started. So I'm just gonna look for a background at the window. Ooh, flames. Ooh, how about pistachios? After making some tough decisions, I decided to go with this one. Now time to cover these. So I have some scrapbooking paper here. I'm in between this one and this one. I would probably see this one in furniture and this one like on a wall, so this one. This is how it looks now. I kind of felt like a sharp pain in my gut when I put glue on the house, but I'm kind of relieved. I really like it. I'm going to work with the bed because I'm going to work on the rest of the background at the end. So here I'm going to do the same thing for my other video. This is an easier way without using like measuring tape and all that jazz. I'm just going to mark some chalk the whole uh, base of the bed and just turn it on the side. And I'm just going to mark the sides. Kind of like we're creating tabs. So as you can see, I left a pattern here and we're just going to cut everything out. So I laid it on the wrong side and we're going to turn it in the corners and gather these two and pin them together. That's what I'm going to do for all the corners. So this is how it looks like. Uh, it looks pretty tight. Um, now what you're going to do is remove it that we have where we're going to sew and we just sew this line down. We're going to worry about these ends later. But uh, yeah, re please remove it first, then sew it down unless you have super fancy advanced sewing machine that you're gatekeeping and not telling us about. Now that we've sewed it, you can flip this up and pin it down. Now we can remove it. I feel like this procedure can only work if you have like a box bed, like instead of like beds with like legs. But uh, now what we're going to do is just sew this edge all the way down. We flip it over and we try it on the bed. Look at that edge, yo! The reason why I did this is because I do not want to paint the bed. Uh, you can do that if you want. This is new. This is still new to me and I don't want to like paint over furniture. I probably will do it to other furniture that didn't come with the house. But uh, yeah, let's get started with bedding. Uh, I don't really have a specific color. Um, also, there are many tutorials on how to make bedding, <laughs> bedding on YouTube, so I don't really think I should explain because it's pretty simple. But if you really want to know, I will show you how to make it in four easy steps. Step one, <gasps> choose your fabric. So I chose this patterned one and the simple one for the bottom. Step two, cut two squares bigger than the bed. Now I'm just gonna pin them together. Also make sure the good side is facing the inside. Step three, we're gonna sew all the sides of the square. Make sure to leave a tiny opening. That is mandatory. <laughs> Step four, flip it over. Sew the opening closed. Repeat the same process to make pillows. Oh yeah. So this is how it looks so far. It looks great. So here's this gap here and I think I wanna put like a bean bag or something so they can chill. Um, I followed this my froggy stuff tutorial from like so long ago, but I remember how to do it uh, I don't think I should explain what I should do 
but if you want you can watch her video it's just how to make a doll beanbag chair and it's a pretty easy procedure but here's me doing it I won't explain that much because it's her tutorial and you should just go watch it. So here's the end product. I stuffed it with some stuffing. Uh, I was going to use some rice. I don't know why they call it a beanbag chair if they don't stuff it with beans. Like, like why don't they call it a rice bag chair? Like, that kind of sounds weird. I, yeah. Anyway, the reason why I didn't stuff it with rice is because I'm scared of ants and bugs. And we do not want that negative energy around my house. I'm going to put it here. Um, I will add this kitty cat plush whatever. So now I'm going to work with the drapes. This is an example of how the drape looked like. Uh, I lost them or maybe it's this one and it shrunk because I tried this on and it, and it just doesn't fit anymore. It's like it's not long enough to like hook on the corners. Anyway, I wasn't a big fan of hot pink. So, Ooh. so I got some white tulle and we're just gonna cut some out. So before I attach the curtains, I just remembered I bought Twinkie. Mmm, Twinkie. No. Uh, Twinkle room lights and they're wired. I had these for my room. Uh, they're really hard to maneuver with. That's why I used Christmas lights for the last house makeover, but uh, we're just gonna try to work with these because these are smaller. Uh, but yeah, they were $5. I don't, I don't know which batteries I need. Mother? Oh, so pretty. So I'm just gonna hide the batteries behind this column. And as you can see, I displayed a curtain, I mean a drape right here. And I'm just gonna put it between that tool. I might do this off camera because I don't think it's gonna be pretty. So I got the section that didn't have any lights and I just wrapped it around this column. And then in the front, I went crisscross back and forth. And then in the back, I separated into two sections, like one there and one there. And then I braided it with the tray. One, two, three. <gasps> Imagine you're just laying down here. Like, look how magical that is. Here's the living room. Oh! Do you not realize that it hurts? It hurts! Don't bite my toes! I am working! Mama's working right now! You're so cute though. Sorry about that. I'm babysitting my dog and she is in the teething stage and it's a little hard to work right now. But, uh,. Yeah, I'm gonna work on the living room. So I think we should focus on the background. So time for some magazine. What am I seeing? Oh, this is so pretty. Why even put numbers here? Don't people realize I recycle? Girl, I'm sure that is uncomfortable. After five magazines, I can't find any good backgrounds. And there are good ones, but like they're blurred out and they're focused on the model. Like who cares about that? I am just gonna do the background later. I'm gonna focus on this background. Oh, hi, Blissa. Okay, I love the modern fireplace. I need to cover this up, but if I cover this, I might have to cover the fireplace because there's a plant. They could have put like more over here. So I might combine these two. Go ahead, run along. Rawr, 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 rawr. I keep looking back at this and it just makes me want to put a real fireplace, like one that has dimension, but like there's like corners here. Like it goes in, I don't know if... You know what, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. So right here, I have the guide for the fireplace. I even cut a little square out. So now I'm just gonna cut out some squares out of foam board. So basically, I'm gonna use the foam squares and glue it on top of the guide I was given. And this is just to bring out dimension. I know it's kind of pointless, but like detail is important, Bethany. So here it is. Uh, it took like four hours, but I like it so far. There is some dimension there. It's not perfect, but you know what? Imperfections are beautiful. So now we're gonna focus on the furniture. This is the sofa that came with the house. I do love it, but again, I will not ruin anything that came with the house because that is just brutal to me because it's new. So for this couch, you can only fit two dolls. And that's not much because four people live in this house. So, wait, I'm sorry. You can fit two dolls and a baby. Ooh. So my lovely sister Rowan found me this couch in a garage sale. So this couch cannot hold not one, not two, but three dolls. So Ashton could just sit on the floor or something. 
since this cow shouldn't come with the house, I'm gonna spice it up. Obviously, I am going to paint this. It's gonna be like a light brown, all sexy, like this brown. Um, but uh, for now, I'm just gonna work with the pillows. I can't paint right now because my dad, my dad, my dog cannot be near the fumes. Oh my god. Okay, while I'm making the pillows, I'm gonna tell you a quick story time. Once my friend asked me, like, why do you have so many scratches on your arm? And I said, my dad. And then they looked at me like, what's wrong with you? And I'm like, no, my, not my dad, my dog. After sewing six pillows, I started to paint the couch. While the paint is drying, I'm just gonna make this little bin that I've been seeing all over Pinterest. So basically you need a little container, some twine, some scissors, and a crusty dusty glue gun. If you don't have one, then you can't do it. Basically just wrap twine all over the bin. Add two handles on the sides. You can store extra blankets or pillows in here. So this is what the couch looks like. And now I'm just gonna add the pillows. So this is how it looks like. Uh, the pillows are a bit small in my opinion. But if I make them too big, like they won't have room to sit, so deal with it. Also, I'm gonna use a coaster as a rug and it's like crocheted. It looks so nice. So yeah, let's see how it looks in the room. 